So on the heels of maybe one of our best hunts ever on Timbergold Trails in which we actually got to witness two male pumas fighting, we're back out here once again and maybe looking for the only encounter more rare than that of pumas fighting and that of course is the 400 non tip. So hopefully today's the day and there's only one way to find out. So not exactly the greatest start here, a 170 to 220 bowl, but as we're dealing with a little bit of rain, We'll go ahead and take that out, gets us to a fresh pack of arrows, which is probably good, so we're not forgetting to get that reloaded. And last time what we did was we fast traveled straight into Mule Deer territory, and I think it took us 45 minutes or an hour to even get a single buck. So we're going to go kind of back to what we used to do, slowly work our way down into Mule Deer territory, and see if maybe we can at least get on a buck a little quicker than that. Now that's a little more like it. 115 to 130 kilos, so a pretty heavy buck, 125 to 150 on the score estimate, and something to keep in mind, when it's raining heavy like this, the wind is usually a little stronger, so we really want to make sure he's in the 20, and hopefully he's going to be in the 20 and uh, not exactly behind that brush. I guess we can probably see well enough for this, and if the raindrops are any indication, the wind's blowing a little right. Sure looks like it was. Actually, had another buck coming in? Oh, that's a dope. That looked almost like more gray in color. The does are almost more of a brown. Well then, I'm going to guess. I mean, maybe we single lunged him, but I'm going to guess that was intestines, which really isn't going to be good. That is a, oh no, it's even body. I'd love to know where that hit. Okay, so what we'll do, let's clear that. We'll just draw an X through right here. We'll probably make like a little loop then, kind of like up and around. And just hunt our way right back to this. Might as well give him time. It'll be 10 minutes or so anyway. Still got another doe coming in. Might have to redirect a little. So all the way around, we're just about back to where we shot that buck. And we've got that kind of average bull elk coming in at least something. And no rain, no wind to throw off our shots. So at the very least, we managed that, but made that big old loop. And I think that's going to end up being the only thing we get as we head back down to track that buck, but gave him plenty of time. Unfortunately, you know, I <laughs> just realized, uh, we're at the 54 minute mark. So the whole thing of trying to get a buck earlier by uh, taking a different approach than last time, till we claim it, it's gonna be later. <laughs> what do you do? Well, this just sucks. Um, <laughs> we're stuck in the stand. I got up here because I can't find the track and it hasn't been that long. But I guess, you know, so many animals on Timbergold Trails, the game can only show so many tracks. The tracks have disappeared, but I can't. Can we fast travel? Will that save us? I'm not entirely sure that it will. Well, there's another bull elk. Um, I think we're good, but I guess now officially no buck for us. Now, first order of business might just be getting a mule deer buck. It's about the size of the one we lost, funny enough. Got a decent bull coming in there, but I think, because everything's going to spook anyway, we might as well just go ahead and try to get this guy, and at least we can be on the board. Now, how did that not... That felt like a decent shot. We are just not having the luck today with our shots. He shouldn't go terribly far anyway, but just, you know, one extra thing. We get to track him a little bit. So after all of that, we finally have a buck down. I noticed, too, this guy's the exact same weight estimate as the, the one that we lost. Ended up being 123.8 kilo, 146 score, and finally after an hour, we have at least killed a mule deer buck, and we've been all over the place, usually directions we wouldn't go, and what I guess I want to do now is at least get down to like this Y in the river, and probably because we just shot, we'll start to move in this direction. Man, like, <laughs> what the heck's going on? There's a Maxway mule deer track. I don't think he was with that one. I feel like we'd have seen that. But no doubt he's spooked either from the shot or from us coming over here to track him. So, you know, nothing else is going to plan. Why not completely change the direction we're trying to go in? Maybe it'll lead to something good. Uh, I think this is going to be the end of our luck right here. These wolves decided to come right to us. They're not fleeing right at the buck, but pretty well that direction. Oh, I just heard him spook. Or I heard something spook. Now there's another buck coming in. What the heck, man? Like, 
I don't know, could he be with the one? Maybe. And go figure, even as there are other blocks coming in, we still have to get them with something else in our way. We have a Mjolnir Doe right here at 20. Really would like to get that shot before she gets against the tree. At least that worked. The other blocks are kind of down this direction, and I I think probably the one we were tracking is gone, but we'll at least sit here and see what comes in. I mean, that's not a bad buck there. 160 to 185? I don't know if he's by himself or not. Definitely, like, not the same buck. The, the weight estimate's way too low. Suppose we'll go ahead and try to get him. That angle's just a little weird. It's just completely dead on. And didn't help that we got a shot to the side. That's just part and parcel for uh, today's hunt. But let's get the dough. Let's go track that guy down. And then we got to figure out what happened to the original buck. I don't know if we'll ever make it where we're supposed to be going. But if we're into bucks, I'm not going to complain about that part. Gotta think that was a lung at least this time, if we get the correct track. It wasn't even a lung shot? I don't even, I, I honestly don't even understand that. Was that the buck there? Sure was, and there's a better one behind him. wonder if that's our guy. I uh, could very well be. Because the weight matched? Can we somehow, I hate when they do this. Ah, oh, just missed the follow-up. I think we got him the first time, though. What a mess, man. I just like... Oh, I don't know. Maybe we got him. Like... <laughs> and then there's bucks everywhere. Okay. See if we can get that guy to come in. I do think based on the reaction, we probably did hit this one. And it was, by the way, the same deer we were tracking, the max weight is bucks. So it's not anything super insane. And now we're not as far behind in terms of that stuff. That would appear to be blood, so we already saw. Body shot will certainly kill one. And now we have another buck to bring in. And one more wrench to throw in the plans here. There's a wolf that just came walking in here and standing here. Those bucks can't be that far away. And I'll tell you, I struggle to drop wolves. Oh, not this time. Okay. Tide turning, maybe a little bit. This is like... <laughs> there's two deer to track. Other bucks coming in. Really, we need to make a decent shot here. If there's any kind of solid buck, we might use a gun. So there are at least two bucks coming in. There's that one back there. This guy here, and it's raining again. And we're not making that same mistake twice. We're going to let him come in closer. He's not big enough that I'm concerned he might spook. So he's going to get in inside of 20. I don't know if that's just two solo bucks. Could it be, you know, two that somehow didn't spook when the rest did? It's very much a possibility. But at least our shots are starting to find the mark, and I guess we'll wait on the next one. You know what? I thought I saw that. Our buck's up there. Just as we went to draw back, I, I thought I saw the knock. Um, I guess we'll see what comes in. If nothing's good, we're going to shoot him. And just go figure. Lost sight of him up there? This guy's in the 17. I feel like we probably can get this. And then honestly, if that other buck's standing there, maybe that was a little odd, but that works. Maybe the move is just really slowly move up here, claim these couple. Maybe see if we can just get eyes on him again. And then just take our time and go claim him when he bets down. It can't be too far from that, but since he spooked uh, when we shot the max estimate buck with the gun, it probably would extend things a little bit. Also, that wolf is laying right there, so let's get that taken care of. I can't see the glowing knock anymore. So either he trotted away when I wasn't looking, or he's bedded down, like, right over here. We've got a marker, though, so at least there's that. I just have no idea where he went. There's a doe coming in. Let's get this. This guy is going to be 123.464. That was almost a 123.456, but... Uh, I say we wait till the doe gets right here close, and then we just go up there and track. So he actually did. He bedded down right where I had last seen him. Slowly but surely, we're starting to claw this hunt back from being an absolute disaster. So 166 buck, there's no way, like earlier in the hunt, this bigger box tracks will be gone just yet, and it shouldn't be that far. And there is the buck we are supposed to be tracking. Which really, you know, with short times and deductions, not going to be that special. We hit him in the high in the leg, by the way. 181 score. And at least, minus that one that 
we got stuck in the stand for, we are officially caught up. So now at this stage, we're just going to fast travel and we'll give the old tree stand editing a spot a chance here as we have another grunt. And we've got bucks coming in from everywhere. That one's actually kind of decent. 170 to 195. There's at least, oh, there's a buck and a doe there. And there was another grunt further back, but definitely this guy is going to be the one we want to try to get. And I guess since there's that other one that's supposedly coming in from further back, if he stays here, we'll try to get the shot at 30. Just maybe on the off chance that other buck's still coming in, but that ain't a bad deal for a quick fast travel buck. And sure enough, there is another buck coming in. However, right here somewhere, walking just over that way, is a grizzly bear, which kind of has him spooked. So what we're going to do, instead of waiting and having him spook again, going to come halfway to full draw, get out of the stand, really blends in the shadows there, but we'll get him taken out. Did that bear stay? I never heard it run. It's still back here somewhere, so chance we might get attacked as we grab this, but... I do want to actually go ahead and move on, because obviously things have developed a little bit slowly today. Double lung liver on that guy is going to be a 145, by the way, a 666 CSS, so maybe that explains all the uh, issues we're having. I mean, it's still there. It knows we're here, but it really isn't overly concerned. So our better buck, which we got at 30 meters, he's going to be a 182, so we top to the one by all of one inch. Then hey, sometimes we come here and get a couple of bucks. Sometimes we get something a little bit better. I haven't been able to do any tree stand editing in months. First time we've done it, I look down and there's a white mule deer standing underneath us. Now, unfortunately it's a doe, but if she will stand still there, just gonna go ahead and get that shot. Fairly confident albino. I'm not sure what dilute does look like, but yeah, you can see the pink nose, you can see the pink hooves. That would be... Oh, it is a dilute. Hold on. Alright then. What's the difference then? Actually, it's not really a pink nose, it's more like black. In the sun there, or sunrise, it actually looked a little bit more pink. That's really cool, we've never had a dilute. Well, that worked out way better than I thought. We've had a few, not that many. But a few albino does over the years? I thought it was just yet another one of those, so now I wish that we just let it lay there for a while and picked it up when the sun was better, but I mean, not bad lighting here. And I mean, really, I still think that nose looks a little bit pink. I'll probably tax it then, because I'm very confident. In the old Let's Go Trophy Hunt series, we killed an albino doe here on Timbergold, and that would be in one of those lodges. We can at least go and compare. It must be a really minor difference. Obviously, the bucks have like, like that dark patch on the forehead. They're much easier to, to notice, but I was fairly convinced that's an albino. That's a first for us. And hey, we got our first dilute ever. Unfortunately, a mule deer doe, but at some stage, I would love to get a mule deer buck dilute for our lodge. But as we move forward here... Easily the best buck of the hunt, a 185 to 215, is making his way in. So he's across the river. I don't know where he's going to cross. I don't know why we can't drop stuff today, but <laughs> whatever. Um, might as well get him down. And we have, as we can't get out of the water here, we have a pretty good distance between here and the next spot I wanted to get to. So shouldn't be a big deal to take him with the 9.3. I mean, even that, I guess, was a body shot. How did we pull that off? And, well, <laughs> <laughs> we hit him in the brain? It's a 200 inch muley, so we will take that. Where did the brain shot come in? Because I... I didn't think we shot him in the head at all. And I still don't see him. There's a bullet wound somewhere on his side. I can kind of see it there. Maybe if we spin him around. There. I guess that was the first shot, and it was probably forward and high. I still don't know how we got him in the brain, but hey, 200 inch buck, we will definitely take that. Well, it looks like we spooked a puma, but I just heard that sound there. So he's probably not too far away. What I wanted to do was try to gauge the size of the footprints. They don't look bad. 
Not that we have a lot of references to the first track we picked up today. But somewhere out here ahead of us should be another male puma. And I think, you know, given the way that the hunt ended last week, we definitely want to at least try to find this guy. And hopefully it's not too big a deal. Oh, there he is. I mean, I'm assuming that's the same one. That kind of looks like a female. That is a female. If it wasn't raining, I would at least feel decent about actually getting a bow shot here. I don't think we ever shot a puma with a bow. And it is kind of slowing up. Let's see if we can do that, because obviously the male is the one that we want to get. And that's like a reasonable shot, about 40 meters. Only something I want to do, though, if the wind really quits. Now, another thing we can do is kind of test the wind and see what we're dealing with. Yeah, that looked pretty strong. I think probably we'll go ahead and take the risk of spooking the, the male. Because if we get the chance to take two, we will. Just in case. Because, man, I surely thought maybe there was... You know, that first sound was closer than where the female was. Though she was very right up against us. And I never did really find many tracks in the male anyway. I'm not so sure we're that close to him. So let's take our female puma. And as long as we can find him, another opportunity to get two down in the same hunt. Slowly but surely, moving towards that goal of getting 100 of every species. Puma is the one we're far farthest away on. And we're actually making progress these last couple weeks. Finally, by pure luck... We just caught up with this guy. Or is... Am I insane? Okay, that's a male. I thought that was going to be a female again. And I was going to be a little bit upset. But not great weight estimate wise. But good to get another one down. I want to say we're somewhere like between 50 and 60 Pumas now. Which, you know, as I've been saying the last couple weeks. We keep on coming out of here. Especially these hunts where we kill a couple per hunt. That number is going to turn into 70, 80, 90, and eventually 100 really, really quick. But just to confirm, that is indeed the one we've been tracking. He's not bad, but not big. 77 kilo hard shot. Going to score 14.9. Maybe he is bad. Below 15 for a male puma is fairly low. But 140 CSS, 140 GM, just for taking that shot. And I think a really good way to end this video. Two weeks in a row, a couple pumas to wrap up. But this time adding a dilute Yodier dough to our collection. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.